SHOT SHOW 2012. This is the final video of the SHOT SHOW 2012 series. I want to personally thank everybody for all of the warmth that you've shown me and all the kind comments and all of us interacting back and forth. Let me tell you a little bit about what you're about to see here in this video. I call it some outtakes, just kind of a collage of different videos. Some of my favorite portions of SHOT SHOW and some videos you might have not seen yet. So hang in there to the end, by the way, because the four favorite people that I met at SHOT Show, I kept for the, right at the end of this video. There's two people I want to mention right now that really helped make the whole experience happen, because it doesn't just, just happen. It turned out to be a much more larger project than I anticipated. It was more difficult than I anticipated, but I think, I think we nailed it. I think uh, I'm happy with all the footage we got, and um, I'm really appreciative to have been a part of SHOT Show 2012. A gentleman named Dino, I'm going to start off with him, in no particular order, there's two people I'm going to mention right now, and over the next month I'll mention some other people who I care about a lot, but, so if I don't mention your name now, I will get to it, but for now there's two people that really were part of this whole experience and really made it happen. Dino, Adam, Ador, his link is below. Dino is one good soul. Dino, you put all the flight arrangements together, you and your wife, and you made everything really happen, and you kept your word, which was not only to be, of course, kind of nice, and, and, but to help me record. So all of the videos that you've seen over the past few weeks that I've uploaded was, was recorded mostly, some of it was by me, but mostly by either Dino or another person named Anthony, I'll get to in a moment, but at least go thank these two gentlemen, because if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't have happened. The whole experience wouldn't have been what it was. Now, Dino, Adam Ador, link is below, had the flu the first day. And this, this, this stand-up guy meets me in the morning. He goes, oh, he's white as a ghost. He's sweating. He goes, I'm, I'm not doing good. I said, go to, your, go to your hotel room. Go get some rest. I mean, all of us only slept like two hours last night. We're exhausted. He goes, Tom, I gave you my word. I'm going to come here and help you record. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it out. And he did. And Dino, I want to personally thank you, and at least everyone should all, all go to his channel and thank him for being a videographer and for, and for walking miles and miles with me and helping me and assisting me to get the interviews that we did get. So Dino, Adam, Ador, link is below. Subscribe if, if you like his channel, and he's really good for the gun community. He's a close friend of mine. I plan on flying out to see him and doing some stuff out there in Kansas City. And uh, the second person is Anthony. I've known him for a, a pretty good time now, and he lives in, here in South Florida. He's the person who ships all the ballast all, and him and I flew together, uh, Southwest Airlines, out to Vegas. And um, i got to thank Anthony also. Uh, Prochico520, his link is below. At least go thank him. If you like his channel, go ahead and subscribe, but at least thank him for assisting me with all the video content. It'll make them feel good. You know, these two guys, they were right by my side the whole time. And I also want to thank my wife. She does, she's not here now, but I want to thank her because she'll see this video. I was gone almost a week, pretty much a whole week, and uh, she stayed behind to care of the kids. Thank you, Tammy. I love you, and uh, that means a lot to me. Now, of course, her and I will get back to all the normal videos that you're you're accustomed to seeing here at Weapons Education. What you're about to see now is a video of, of just some different outtakes, um, I, a collage of different videos, and uh, let me know what you think, throw in your input. I kept the best for last. You might have seen some of these clips, like I said, maybe not, but the, the most prominent four people that I think I met at SHOT Show 2012, I, I put some of their video clip here at the end of this. So thank you so much from me to you. I really do care about all of you. All the interaction, it, it's just huge. And I think we're all going to really see this channel expand, the whole gun community expand. And we need to let politicians know, we need to let the anti-gun people in the world know that we do exist and we're going to make the gun community a better place. It just takes all of us to be kind and nice to each other and get along. And we've been doing that. So thank you so much, 
Enjoy some of the, the video clip you're about to see. I care about all of you. I mean, I really do. This, that, was, that was a good time doing a shot show and bringing all those videos to you. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed making them. Thank you so much. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. I found something pretty cool here for personal protection, zombie attack, lawless society. Look at this spear, designed by Kit Ray. You may have heard of him. Really cool. You can take out the belly, you can take off the head, you can go through the gut. Whatever you gotta do with this baby here. Let's hey, I found another zombie killer here. It's made by GG and G. Solid steel, full tang, sharp as a nail. This will take someone out. Good for home protection. <laughs> All right, having a good time with Chop Chop. This is an interesting video. This dog is so gorgeous and so obedient. It's a German Shepherd from Slovakia named Bear. It's a male service dog. What could you tell us about this unbelievable, beautiful animal? He's a protection dog from Slovakia. It's unknown. I mean, a lot of people don't are coming up and asking me questions about him. He's part wolf, but. The old style German Shepherd, this is what you're looking at right now, with the big bone structure. He has no hip dysplasia. My partner's a veterinarian. We screen these dogs to be the best of the best. We work with families, police, military, and special forces to get the best dogs out there. He's also trained in protection work. He'll do assistance work for people that are handicapped, which is just a great thing. He's able to fly. He's got excellent manners, and then he, he can become turned on with a the right command right there. He's at a what bit age was, did you start training this dog? He started at three weeks old. That's when I started imprinting the dogs, the puppies, so that they get neurological stimulation. They're brought into the world where they can have all these different factors brought in to their life. They can be exposed to different kinds of sounds, gunfire, explosions. I do things with training at night that nobody else does in the protection business at all with dogs. I'm kind of unique with what I do. Just absolutely so gorgeous. Just beautiful. Right, big guy. Well, thank you, Alex, for that interview. Thank you very Just much. A beautiful, beautiful German Shepherd. I'm going to miss you, boy, big guy. Huh? <laughs> oh, you're a little bit bigger than my Pomeranian. <laughs> All right. Hey, do you guys think you have patience? Are you calm? Are you jittery sometimes? Take a look. He's pretty calm, isn't he? He's relaxed. Boy, if he was hunting, I don't think a deer would even know he's standing there. Is he breathing? Is he alive? Is he a mannequin? <laughs> isn't that amazing, guys? I'm here. All right, I don't know how you do it. It's pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Good job. Look at that. somewhere else. I thought you might find that interesting. Ah! <laughs> What's up, dude? Are you alive? You a zombie? Hey, easy, bro. I got a 500 Magnum. Boom! Didn't work. I got in a spot. I cut you. I'll kick you. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Zombie attack is happening. It's coming right. It's coming after everyone. He's even going after people in wheelchairs. He don't care. He just don't care. The zombies don't care. They'll take your blood. They'll bite your blood. They'll bite your neck out. Wait, wait. I got an idea. I got a shotgun. Boom! Didn't work. Wait. <laughs> oh, he laughed it off. <laughs> wait, wait. I'll grab my 37 Magnum. Boom! All right, now I'm gonna take you out my my sick five five six. <laughs> oh God! Ah! Ah, you got Talk about your ammo, Ted. Tell us about it. See it? Talk about your ammo to the camera it's here. It's fast and deadly. It's fast and you deadly. Know, the state of the art commercial ammo nowadays 
beats most hand loads of recent years. And I'm just proud to have my own with state-of-the-art components, state-of-the-art propellants and bullets and brass and drivers. And these guys are loading it up to what I wanted, faster and as hard-hitting as possible. Awesome. And there, there's so much of that out there right now that I just hope mine can compete. Ted, what can you tell my audience about uh, why they should join the NRA? Well, if you're not a member of the NRA, you probably ought to move to France. Uh, we are in a serious culture war. We have the most corrupt, power-abusing government in the history of America. Uh, we have a government that is infested with punks that hate America. And uh, that's not an opinion. The, the evidence is irrefutable and overwhelming. And I believe that the defining condition of our right to self-defense, our right to really keep and bear, which means keep means it's mine, you can't have it. Bear means I have some on me right now. If that's compromised, you are not a free man. So the NRA is the biggest, most effective fist in the culture war, and I believe that it's every freedom of it, every American duty to become a member. Good, so everyone in my audience, here's Ted Nugent telling you to join the NRA. Yeah. Everybody should give away NRA memberships to everybody they know. If every member gave away a hundred membership, which I think they should do. I do. You're not allowed to be in my band unless you're an NRA member. You can't work for me unless you're an NRA member. In fact, anybody here that's not an NRA member, I ask you to leave right now. Um, is that important? We are at the last fair booth. Shot Show 2012 with the main man. How are you doing, sir? All right. Glad to meet you. How are you? Excellent, excellent. Please tell the audience all about the Les Bear, the gun that you developed in 1911, and why is it so special? Well, this particular one right here is called the Boss 45, and since I'm a gearhead, uh, we like, I came out with this pistol complimenting the Boss 429 Mustangs, and we have a lot of people interested in this particular firearm. So it's chrome plated on the bottom, it's all hand built, one at a time. Glued on the top, it has our adjustable sights, hard fit barrel, hard fit slide. Everything on this particular firearm is hand fit. And that's why they're so accurate. Talk about that. Um, how many people does it take to make that gun? Uh, right now we got probably actually 20 to 23 in the shop building these guns one at a time. And after they're completely built, do they get fired? Yes. About 120 to 150 rounds is put through every custom 1911 we do. Okay. And uh, what year did you start your company? Uh, right around 1976. All right. And then mostly just took off. It huh? started very slow and it got to where we're at today. You pretty much do mostly 1911s. A lot of custom 1911s and then some semi-automatic custom rifles too. And then what separates your 1911s from other high-end 1911s? The, the quality we feel we have everybody beat. For the cost of the money. For the cost of the money. Right. What does this cost approximately? This one is right around 2100 2100 That's a buy. I have a lot of firearms, and yours is going to be my next purchase. Well, thank you, sir. And I just, I love everything about your company, and the viewers do also. Cool. I'm glad you like it. Anything else you want to talk about your company, the whole wide world? Ah, uh, we support the NRA, really heavy. And all you people out there that support the firearms industry, we appreciate it. All right. Thank you for the interview, thank you. Les. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 All right, weaponseducation.com. I'm with the gunny. And uh, tell, tell my audience, what was like your favorite part of um, Full Metal Jacket, for instance? Paychecks. Paychecks. Good I hands. love paychecks. They always do. I, I just enjoy paychecks. I don't know How about the is. History Channel, that series? I loved it. Paychecks. Paychecks. Uh, well, and that, and, and you know, I figured out a way where I could actually do a show, host a show, and work, and actually blow stuff up, <laughs> shoot the guns, not have to police up the brass, not have to clean the guns, uh, and usually not pay, not pay for the bullets, not, you know, That's a good job. not even my gun, you know, somebody else loan me the gun. What about the Glock? What can you tell the audience about Glock? What separates Glock from all the other manufacturers? They work. Yeah. Yeah. Plain and simple. They're, they're a simple gun. Uh, Gascon Glock, when he sat down and made the sketches and, and did the research and built this gun, put a lot of thought into it. He wanted to keep it as simple as he possibly could. I mean, my wife sat down and I told her how to get it apart. 
and she was able to take it all the way down, put it all back together, with and I just sat there and watched. That's how simple it is. And my wife is no quiz kid. I mean, she, she's mechan when it comes to mechanical, I come home and she'll meet me at the door and say, thank God you're home. The lights burned out in our bathroom. You know, because she is not mechanically inclined enough to change a life. But she can take a Glock apart. She can take a Glock apart, put it back together, and she can shoot and she can hit the Glock. You're not going to yell at me, are you? Because no, I was, was kind of slack. Do you mind yelling at me? I get paid the big bucks to yell at me. Can you yell at me? No. Hell no. If I owned a goddamn gun store, would you ask me if I could, you could have my guns? <laughs> and that's my product, is yelling. I gotcha. Why we can't dilute the product? You can't right? dilute it. What the hell is your major malfunction? Anyway, now, that's, why don't you drop down on your fat belly and give me about 20? No, no, because we don't have a corpsman here. You would probably have a freaking heart attack. You're right. Because out of shape as you are. Okay, now, get over here in front of my desk and let's take care of this business. I'll, I'll give you 20, all right? All right. Weapons education, guys. There will be no 20. <laughs> weapons education. Let's see, this is Tom. That's and the you. channel is weapons education. Well, first of all, I'm, I'll do one for weapons. Okay, oh, thank you. Where's this one for the office? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Tom now. <laughs> He's spending a lot of time with everybody. Wonderful. You know what, Tom? If I didn't jump around and play with everybody in line, this would be a miserable job. <laughs> I could not imagine standing here all day. I stand here eight hours. I know. It's a, it's a Three days. It's actually going to be four days in a row before it's over. And if I couldn't play around and joke and have fun with, it, with everybody in line, this would be a pretty boring job, I gotta tell you. I can tell you're having a good time. I always have fun. It's all about having fun and, of course, paychecks. Paychecks, you like those paychecks, paychecks huh? Paychecks are important, yeah. Okay, Tom, there we go. Now, weapons education. Weapons education. Is that your company? That's my channel on YouTube. Ah. So everybody worldwide will be checking this out. Education. A U C A G E D U C E D U C A T I O N. I O N. I O N. You got it. There you go. But I did get him to yell at me for the record. <laughs> Well, now there you go, Tom Cat. Thank you, sir. Squared away. All that right. Good? Check it out. Interim Shot Show 2012 with who else but Wayne Lapierre. Hey, Thank great, you, sir. Great to see you. Thanks for everything you're doing to, to, to sign up new members of the NRA. Yeah, I'm trying hard. Please tell the audience why they should join the NRA and really what's happening now with gun laws. Well, I mean, the main reason to join the NRA right now is the fact that we're about our membership and giving voice to our membership. And if there's ever a time to be a member of the NRA, it's now. This is probably the most dangerous election in our lifetime for the Second Amendment. The truth is, it could break the back of the Second Amendment, and we need to be out there defending freedom. The fact is, if we don't work hard between now and the election and stand up for these rights, we'll go to our grave not getting back what we've lost in the next four years under a second term Obama administration. I agree 100 percent. What about this whole Fast and Furious thing with Eric Holder? I mean, are we going to get him to resign or is, what's going to, what do you think is going to happen with that? Eric Holder needs to go, but needs to be a special prosecutor appointed. It, uh, I mean, look at what they did. They sent thousands and thousands of guns deliberately to some of the most evil people on the planet, the Mexican drug cartels. They were running a massive campaign to manipulate public opinion against the Second Amendment in the United States. They were letting law-abiding American gun dealers take the rap when they knew the truth. And then when it starts to come out, they engage in a massive cover-up. Amazing. Mean, that, can, that can't stand. Can't stand. What, what my audience is going to ask is, um, states like California, for instance, are those laws ever going to get loosened, do you think? You know, the truth is, the strength of the NRA, and you see it here today, is decade in and decade out, we're the majority in this country. The American public is on the side of their constitutional rights, they're on the side of their freedom, they want their gun freedom, they want to be able to protect themselves, and that's every single state you go into. 
That's why we're up to 41 states now with right to carry. We're not going to rest until all 50 are that way, including California. Excellent. This is a freedom that the American public in every single state in this country wants to defend it and wants to, to have as an individual citizen. So we're not giving up on any state. Thank you so much, Wayne. All right, our audience appreciates thank the interview. So thank you I'll so tell much, you, sir. NRA's promises are always going to be a Second Amendment in this country, and it's always going to be an individual right. That's what we want to hear. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.